Hi, everybody. Look what OpenAI has just released. It's called OpenAI 01, and it just came out a few days ago, and it's a big hit already. Let's dive into this. So I'm going to just go to the OpenAI website, introducing OpenAI 01 preview. And now, as you can see, came out September 12th, just a few days ago. And it's a new series of reasoning models for solving hard problems. Who doesn't need help with that? So OpenAI is here for the rescue, but how does it work? How do you get access? Uh, what's the best way to use this? So OpenAI already has a little bit of a introduction and... Um, one of the things uh, that stands out immediately is this line. Given this, we are resetting the counter back to one and naming this series OpenAI01. So think about that for a second. It is, uh, I guess we're used to chat GPT 2, 3, 4, 4.5. Uh, OpenAI is now going to this uh, new naming um series this will uh, i guess going forward will be this one is uh 01 and i guess the next one will be 02 03 04 and then uh on and on and on i guess this is how open ai is going to release future uh, updates to this model um and as you can see their coding abilities were evaluated in contests and reached the 89th percentile in code forces completion so this uh, new model is going to be really good and, um, you know, it's certainly going to be the future. And as you can see, as an early model, it doesn't yet have many of the features that make ChatGPT useful, like browsing the web. But uh, for many common cases, GPT-40 will be more capable uh, in the near term. But, and this is where you, you might want to use uh, open, or I should say, O1 preview or the o1 mini but for complex reasoning tasks this is a significant advancement and represents a new level of ai capability so now if you're asking who is o1 really for if you're just into let's say asking chat gpt the state capitals of the u.s you probably don't need uh, O1 or O1 Mini, but um, if you look here, whom it's for, and uh, but if you're looking to solve complex problems in science, coding and math, in similar similar fields, quantum optics, and uh, this may be up your alley. As you can see, we got some uh, you know genetics use cases, economics, cognition quantum physics all right so um that's really uh what the target audience is uh coding reasoning korean ciphers okay i'll put that on the list math logic puzzles um so those are some of the um target audiences uh i i guess now OpenAI has also released a mini version of O1. Uh, why do they do this? Uh, it's because Open, uh, I should keep saying that, but O1 mini is 80% cheaper than the O1 preview. Now, what do you mean by cheaper? This is more like if you're just going into chat GPT and asking it questions, this really is not gonna apply to you. It's more for the backend API users. So if you're using the OpenAI API, the mini is probably going to be the way to go because as it's written here, it's going to be 80% cheaper. Now, how do you use OpenAI01? Well, right now, this is only going to be available for people who have um, already signed up and paid for uh, ChatGPT. So uh, this is uh, ChatGPT enterprise users and EDU users, developers. Um, but they are planning to bring O1 Mini access to all chat GPT users for free. Of course, that's down the road, so we don't know how long that is going to take. But um, they have released this early preview of these reasoning models. And uh, let's go check this baby out. Okay, so here I am in uh, ChatGPT. This is just your basic ChatGPT. And if I uh, 
click down here, it says, um, yeah, it just gives me chat GPT, chat GPT plus. I'm not signed in or I'm not one of the paid customers, so I can't use O1. Um, I'm using this on my other account. So what I'm going to do is switch accounts and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back and I'm using a paid account now. This is my other account. And as you can see, it says ChatGPT 4.0. So I do have access to that. Now, when I click on the drop down, I get uh, obviously 4.0. And now I get 01 Preview. I get 01 Mini. And I even get more models. I can go 4.0 Mini. I can go ChatGPT 4. Um, I guess I can't get three, three or three point five anymore, but um, you can see. So if I click uh, preview, it's gonna give me some different. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? How many R's? Okay, so let's do this. How many R's are in strawberry? This was a um, kind of a glitch in the old uh, 4.0. Let's see if I type in how many R's. Strawberry. This used to give out uh, two. It didn't, and there are two R's in the word strawberry. So that is a glitch that um, I guess they've gone ahead and kind of uh, made fun of themselves in this preview. Let's see if I click this. How many R's? Let's see if it gets this right. And uh, the word strawberry contains ten letters. Strawberry. The count the number of R's blah 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 and it comes up with the right answer three as you can see it's a little more verbose it's gonna say thought for a few seconds it's gonna it's gonna tell you what it's doing this is the O1 version it it's gonna be you know like like when you're in school and the math teacher says you know show your work okay this is like show your work it's gonna write out uh, I don't know if there's a way to I mean I guess if you don't want it to do that you go back to the older versions and what would a new AI model be without benchmarks so OpenAI has given us a bunch of benchmarks highlighting or just showing us how much better these new uh, O1 uh, preview and minis are burst the older models and as you can see in math uh, the O1 and the preview far excel the 4.0 version and uh, again more and more you can even see the preview is better than the 01 version and better than the expert human this is at the phd level science question gpqa diamond what the heck does that mean i have no idea probably nobody knows what that means but look it's got a bunch of different colors and it looks really nice so um, here's some more. These are actually pretty good. It shows you the GPT 4.0 and then how much better the O1 is. So you get a quick indication where it's better in math and math, vista, chemistry, physics. I did just say chemistry. No, it's chemistry, of course. Uh, biology, uh, global facts. Hey, if you want to know the uh, <laughs> capitals <laughs> around the world, it probably does a better job. Uh, college chemistry professional law PR so you can see it does a lot of things um, a lot better than the 4.0 version if you do want to use these uh, two new models you are going to have to pay for it um, as you can see the chat GPT I guess they just call it plus now for individuals looking to amplify their productivity if you're not looking to amplify your productivity stick with the free no that's terrible of course, you should be looking to amplify your productivity. Um, but here it is. So access to GPT uh, 4040 Mini, or sorry, it's, it's right up here. 01 Preview, 01 Mini. I don't. So this is like 00, or I guess 40, and now we're 01. Um, but uh, yeah, so $20 a month. Uh, there are some limits, so you just can't go crazy. But um, that's uh, that is the new model of the week. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or entertaining or uh, 
caused you some uh, gastrointestinal issues, please hit the thumbs up button and stay tuned for more AI content. Thanks for watching.